<laughs> like, do you have any idea what we're what we're trying to accomplish, what we're doing here? And and other and the translation of that is we need to run off about three quarters of this place before we can move forward. And he was right. Uh, and and I, I was really glad to see that because I'm a big fan of his. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I know I've avoided I've avoided your question by by pontificating about Mario Cristobal, but he deserves it though. Mario deserves credit this morning. But the situation with A&M now become tenuous is a good word because with every game now, uh, the microscope is back on. I mean, all the attention about Bobby Petrino, that really, that that, that accomplished absolutely nothing. Um, and it, it proves that we read so much into first games that don't mean anything, Matt. That's why I thought yesterday was important. I thought you had to learn who these teams are after these these horribly week one scheduled games. And Connor Wegman, I get it. I mean, I don't know how many times Palmer and Tess could say it. Five-star quarterback, highly ranked for quarterback. All right, well, Tyler Van Dyke threw five touchdowns and looked sure. better. Texas A&M has more talent. I speak with Mario. Like, yeah. it, like Mario wouldn't argue with that. He'd be sitting right here and be like, yeah, they have more talent. They do. And you can't go and get thumped no. the way you got thumped. And – Going into the weekend, I said for Texas, if not now, when for Sark, right? Well, I'm going to apply that to Texas A&M. I, year six, you, if not Paul now, like w- w- when? Yeah, and, and, and Matt, I, I, one thing that happened yesterday that may have been more important to this conversation than even the result in Miami, and that was the first conversation. If Texas really is back, that's a problem for Jimbo Fisher. Because in that state, yeah, you you could say, who cares about Texas while uh, A&M was uh, in, you know, getting, you know, getting used to the SEC, but Texas is in the SEC now. Uh, and you, that, that was the greatest source of pride for the Aggies. We got in the SEC, we had Johnny Manziel, we beat Alabama. We did. We didn't do a lot of great things, but we did a couple of good things while Texas was was mired in mediocrity. And because of us, they decided to get in the SEC. That that that, that was all the narrative. It's, that's it. that's gone now. That's shattered. Uh, and in in one night in in, in Tuscaloosa, uh, Sark moved forward, and Jimbo Fisher on the way home had to be sick to his stomach realizing what that means to him because it, it adds it adds significant pressure now is this is it is it gonna work i mean are they what if you're an if you're an a&m fan give me the light at the end of this dark dark yeah. dark sunday morning tunnel well i mean every conversation about jimbo fisher starts i feel, I feel like we're on wall street on uh, jim kramer's report uh because <laughs> you, you have to talk about money uh and it's it, at some point AM officials have to look in and go, oh, are we going to let $75 million affect the progress of this program? And I, 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 I'll I, try to avoid the, I don't know where this goes from here. This was a terrible loss. Uh, it, it can be overcome with a win over Alabama, a win yeah. over Arkansas, momentum. But it, if it's not, then I, I would think at the end of the season, if, if AM is looking at a mediocre record, that that 75 million will not be a factor. Uh, I do, I, I've maintained that for a long time. That's a factor if it's a close call. Last year, uh, to Jimbo's credit, uh, I, I give Ross B. Orr credit, uh, the athlete. Yeah. He did a very good job of protecting Jimbo Fisher. You know, remember the AM president uh, has been replaced. So uh, she, she was fired a few weeks ago. So there's a little bit of a transition there. But as you you and I both know, presidents don't make those decisions at places like Texas and A and M. It's it's the guys in the it's the guys with the with the cowboy hats. Right. And uh, I I don't I don't think you'll be able to survive if, if they don't reach a certain mark. And I don't I, Matt. It's a little bit hard to tell on September 10th what that number is. But if they if they are losing games like this on a consistent basis, then he has no future. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.